Welcome everybody, this is Brother Mutant here. Today we're going to show you uh, one of our last accolades that we're going to get that's a clickable. Uh, the only other one that's left to talk about would be uh, the portable workbench, which is great, but I'm not going to get that one anytime soon. So, uh, and I think you can actually purchase that or something similar to that as you go to the pay to win vendor and have enough money to throw at them. So, really why bother? This one you can earn though. This is the Vanguard Middle. Now I actually made a mistake the other day. I actually said, I believe in one of my videos, that there's a, a clickable that allows you to get Mez protection. Actually, that's not true. That's what I thought this one was. This one actually doubles the duration of your Mez, basically increases the effectiveness of it. Well, not quite double, but 66% is pretty goddamn close. And it does it for one minute. Now, while this isn't something that's going to be super amazing for my main character, Hunter Warrior, this would be something on a controller type, uh, even some defenders or blaster types that will actually have some kind of protection built around holds and mobilizes and stuff of that nature, they will actually benefit quite a bit from using something like this, even if it's for a short period of time. Uh, remember, this will not increase the mag uh, of the power, so basically that the chance it'll land, so to speak. Uh, but the will do is if it is hit the target, the duration is extended, and therefore you can stack them on each other. Remember, the amount of mag is uh, counted by how many are currently on you at one time. So for instance, if this character right now can resist, I want to say six or seven mag hold, uh, I can resist one, I could resist two of your mag holds. And then by the time you hit, manage to hit me a third time, hopefully, I'll have enough defenses that I would be able to resist uh, being hit up until that third one lands. And by the time the third one lands, the first one hopefully will have fallen off, and therefore, again, I still only have two on me. This would be a way to ensure that they last longer, and therefore, you can stack them on a target until finally you do land it to the point where they are held, immobilized, or what have you. So this is a really nice one for that reason. I'm going to show you how we get this one. Uh, there's an exploration badge uh, in PI, uh, as well as the Richty War Zone, and that's in, uh, the echo of Richty War Zone. So first, let's go to PI. Uh, I'm going to go here. Some of the Talos first. Um, the one clickable I was thinking of, I knew there was a clickable for this. The one I was thinking of, um, this would be useful for that class as well, uh, it would be for the Dominator. The Dominator have an ability that if they build up their dominance, or whatever the hell it's called, uh, there's a clickable power that they get that they can activate it, and that gives them mess protection. So that's the one I was thinking of. So it's kind of the same, but not really the same. Um, and therefore, uh, this would be something that on a Dominator, they could actually really benefit from having this one as well. But certainly everybody would be benefit from having all of them, uh, but uh, some classes more than others. The only thing that I really get out of this for this character uh, is his immobilize would actually last longer, which would be nice. I'm not going to complain about that. Uh, and then he has a stun. Uh, sorry. Hate being rude. Um, he has a stun with pummel. You know, when he uses his uh, 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 rifle for that reason alone. Uh, now this one, of course, is his... Um, uh, what do you call it? His mace. So there's disorient in all these. Knockback would be actually better, uh, which is actually worse. <laughs> I'll have to explain that in a minute. So I'll have a couple of stuns at least. I'll have a couple of knockbacks, which will get benefits from, uh, and then I'll have uh, my immobilize from here will be benefiting from it as well. Uh, so let's see. So I have, I'm looking for the portal parter badge here. So where are you at, portal parter? Number one. And. Way the heck out yonder. Okay, so that's where we're headed. Um, so this one again is middle of nowhere uh, in the ocean. There's an island out here. You land on it, grab it. And actually, while we're in zone, there's a couple other things that I want to show you. One thing in particular in this zone uh, is going to be one of the defeat badges that you have to get. It's called the Zookeeper badge, where you defeat a thousand, I kid you not, a thousand Ricky monkeys. So here's our area. Uh, I need to get out of here. There. Zoom in. Let's see. Is it right here? There you go. That's your badge. Right on the ground level. Uh, from there, 
while you're in zone. And again, I would only recommend doing these things once you actually hit uh, 50 because this area is particularly nasty. Um, and the area that we're heading to next is uh, flooded with Richter monkeys. Uh, they're not particularly dangerous as far as damage output unless you really are weak and this is like blaster type weak um, but even a blaster at 50 can pretty much take the beating out here I'd say that doesn't mean you can be stupid and just go AFK in this thin ground level with these damn monkeys and expect to come back and have a fully healthy tune now nah, I wouldn't do that but uh, if you're going into the area to fight do what you're supposed to do to basically kill these things out you shouldn't have any real issues so this is where you're going to head for that sadly it's a long ways away uh, if they ever wanted to make a awesome teleport move, in my opinion, using the thumbtack as an anchor anywhere on the map and using it once, having a massive cooldown, I wouldn't mind. But literally be like, this is where I want to teleport, teleport me there, and poof. That would be awesome. But uh, sadly, they never did such things. Uh, we have, um, let's see, one more uh, accolade that I need to go over before I'm done with my series as far as hero side anyway. I, I have yet to decide whether I'm gonna repeat this for the villains, because they are different. Uh, they give the same bonuses, uh, but they call them different things, as I mentioned in my previous video. You see I have not only the Atlas Medallion, but I also have Marshall, and it's the same icon because it's the same accolade. If I were to go to the villain side, all these ones that I'm getting, if there's a villain counterpart, I would get them just for free, because they, they don't want to take stuff away from me. So, oops, this is not the island I want. There we go. Cut this out. Um, that was a giant monster island. So if you ever want to fight giant monsters, by the way, that's the place to be. So this is the islands, or chain of islands, that you want to be on for the Richter monkey. And you will see them everywhere you go. They're level 50, but they're considered underlings. They're not even minions, so they're you know even lower than you would think. That's why I say only come here at 50. I'm at 50 plus one, of course. Uh, but if you have a good uh, few AoE attacks, um, you can actually sweep through these thousand that you need a lot easier than you think. In this case, I would not use this character uh, for melee for this because I only have the, the two AOE moves. That one as well as my um, skadoosh ability. I do have, of course, pets that I can pull out. Uh, and you'll see the monkeys are basically everywhere. They do that psi attack. Uh, and, of course, my defenses are high enough that I'm not even particularly worried about it. I mean, if I look at the hit chances, these guys are swinging and missing all over the place. And I don't have psi protection for shit. I do have range protection, and they do that poison gas when they die, so if you ever, you know, like slaughter a crap ton in a specific area, you'll see that they kick off the, the toxic fumes. If you stand in, you get that right there. Monkey gas. I don't even know what this thing actually does to you. Taste damage. Fear effect. Not anything really to worry about. Uh, but yeah, you can literally, with a team, again, ideally, go through and mow down these guys no problem. Even if you didn't have any uh, kills to this thousand that you need, in less than a half an hour, you can, with two people, you and another person, uh, with a couple of good AOE attacks, you guys can, like, mow through these at level 50, which you should, I think. And, of course, there's badges over here, as well as um, plaques. Over here. You know, feel free to grab those while you're in the zone. Uh, but, by and large, uh, that's one of the badges that you need as well. And, again, that's called the Zookeeper badge. To defeat 1,000 Richter Monkeys. Uh, from there, and it doesn't have to be here. Just, that's the best place I find to hunt them. Uh, from there we have to go to, um, let's see, the Ricky War Zone. This is actually the uh, Echo version of the Ricky War Zone. And it's for the Ace Badge. So let's get you there. And I'll give you the numbers for that in a moment. Uh, Ricky Crash Site. Um, this is literally the Ricky War Zone back in the day. Um, again, Echo version of it. Uh, it probably houses more badges here than what I have, uh, so I'm probably missing some uh, because uh, Video Maps doesn't have this map overlay for where the badges were. Uh, you can find them on the Ricky War Zone proper, uh, and then of course you'll go to those areas and not find the badges. So if you write down the locations, maybe that's the best way to find some of these things that are missing. So they're here on this map, but again, you don't have the cool little icons. 
just write down the location and again backslash L O C will get you there. But this one it literally is on top of this guy's shoulder, I want to say, or his fist. Yeah, 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 this fist. So what you do, especially if you can oh, I thought I could fly. Especially if you can fly, you can get up here to this guy. Ooh, hey there. And on the end of his fist is the badge. So that's your ace badge right there. You go L O C that's your numbers 1360 roughly 293 roughly and uh, negative 272 273 is what I have so again that's that's gonna be your ace badge you need that one as well so that's the two exploration badges that you need let's get back to uh, or so we can go find our history plaques so we have one in Founders Fall two in Grace Folly and one or sorry two in Eden so we have let's see there Oh, they're teleporting in. Come on. Get over here. Get away from these guys. Ooh, Adam Asters in Dark Astoria. Okay, so we're heading to Ouroboros. Uh, I think Founders Falls is a stop that we can pick from Ouroboros. This is the coffee. I've been doing really good about putting these videos up for you guys, so I'm real happy that I'm about finished with them. So hopefully you guys enjoyed them. Uh, I do apologize, of course, for the length of many of them, but I do like taking from location to location. So let's see what we have here. Um, we are looking for the history plaque called Savant. So we're looking for plaques. Savant's number two. There's one. Here's two. That's our guy. Okay. I believe this is attached to Eden. Yeah, so we'll go to Eden next. We get over to Eden. To Savant plaques over there, and then we'll find uh, the ones in Craze Folly. So, again, this is a reasonably easy one to get. Notice that we're over here. The plaque is actually on a corner right there. Here's your guy. I right, have it, so you don't have to do this, but again, always double read it in my opinion just to make sure that you have it. Now we're heading to Eden, which is attached to Founders Falls. This way, uh, and the two in there. Uh, uh, those are badges. One and two. It's the only plaques that we have. So here's one. Okay. And again, you want to be reasonably stealthed in this area or high enough level that they're not going to mess with you because these guys are pretty rough. Uh, this is part of one of those, um, or a zone for one of those missions that you guys will find, or task force that you guys will find. Uh, it's actually quite fun. I want to say this is the one that I mislabeled as um, being Manticore's when it was actually Numina. Numina gives the mission where you hop around from zone to zone. This is the final zone for you to kill a bunch of stuff. And then there's always, 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 always a uh, mission over here where there's like a door for you to uh, look at one of these buildings that you always go into. You come out and then the last mission is somewhere where I'm at over here or over in this area. We find a, a giant monster inside a cave. It's always, always the way. The last two missions are always in Eden. So while you're in Eden, feel free to stop by and grab these things. So that's number one. Number two is actually over by the second to last mission for Numina's Task Force. So this is one that I highly recommend you grab uh, when you're zoning and heading to that area you know you guys will have to fight 10 of some monster type here and 10 of another monster type here at the very end uh, and then everyone will head it back over like I said to the buildings usually it's one of these doors over here I want to say it'll be one of the mission doors that go in uh, but while you're here waiting for everybody feel free to run around here grab the badge 
that is, I just ran over it right there. And then the plaque, which of course we do need, which is over here. And this is a weird one in that the plaque is up high. So you literally have to look and reach for it, but you can get it from ground level. But that's your last plaque in this zone. Now we need Craze Folly. And you know, I've never been to the hive. Uh, Craze Folly will be the last one. I need to figure out how to get to that one. Where's Craze? Out of bricks? Yeah. It's all coming back to me, man. It's all coming back to me. You do enough zone hopping when you're doing those missions and everybody's like, oh, I need to go to, oh, let's yeah, just go there. Okay, cool. Um, so we're going to reverse our steps. Actually, I should be smart about this. We got an reverse portal. I do the long travel, right? Teleport in, teleport back out. It won't take us to Brickstown, but I believe we can teleport down to the Founders. Yeah, or uh, Talos. This is right downhill. I was almost always seem to go to Talos, and it's not even the closest tram. I mean, you'll see how close it is. And to say that it's not the closest is kind of funny. So, like, literally, that's not the closest portal from Ouroboros you can get to a tram. But it's downhill. You're facing right at it, so it's a nice, convenient one for me. Go to there. We're going to Brickstown, and then in the corner... Bottom left, you're going to see a passage to Craze Folly. And again, we'll get the last two plaques there. Oh, yay. So, what could you use this accolade for? Now, granted, it's, it's like all accolades. It's a use it, and then it's a massive cooldown. Uh, and they all seem to say 25 minutes, but they all seem to be 20. So I'm kind of thinking that I, I'm mistaken on the global recharge helps out. I don't think they do. I think they're set for 20 minutes, and the, the tool tip is just wrong. Uh, but uh, again, maybe I'm mistaken. If you guys know better, if you know that there's a, you know, like hasten works or whatever to increase it, you know, the down, or decrease the downtime, let me know. But uh, I'm fairly certain that 20 minutes seems to be the standard for all these guys as far as a cooldown. Kind of annoying, too, because some of them, like this pistol, well, it'd be really nice to have that up like every minute just so you could start slapping some immobilize on somebody you know for instance if you head over here and just kind of pow it shouldn't have to be a 20 minute cooldown for this pistol because if so it's the worst pistol on the face of the planet i mean i suppose if it takes out the mark it did its job okay so anyway i'm rambling which means it's time to find stuff uh so we're looking for our plaques savant one and two again piss off bro Get over here. There's one way the hill over there, so let's head there first. Um, and again, not the safest zone for you to be traveling in at you know, level 20 or so, so I would not risk this one per se uh, on a low tune. But when you get to your 30s, you can probably safely or safe enough travel here. You'll be doing missions in here in this zone anyway, especially for task force, so feel free to come through. Again, I highly recommend getting video maps so that you know where you're going. Uh, I'll read the numbers to you guys at the very, very end, so uh, don't freak out. But um, I'll just do it in one big batch so that I can explain to you where you're going for all these things as far as location is concerned. If you don't want to get video maps, uh, and you certainly don't want to have to follow me everywhere I'm going. But this is a relatively big zone attached to the Richty War Zone. Oh, I could have gone. Oh, well, that was Echo. Yeah, that doesn't count. Okay, so we're in the general location. Zoom in. Facing it down. Right there. There's your plaque one. From there, we're looking for the last plaque, plaque two. Like right there. And that will be everything you would need for the history badge, the savant badge. Click that last one, and you're basically done with that. It did your defeat all monkeys, and we need to defeat uh, one last thing. We need a, a, the finder badge, and that's defeat 100 lost bosses, and I'll show you a nice hunting zone for that. Also, there's Ricky monkeys over here, by the way, to, that you can hunt, and they're probably lower level than the ones I was suggesting you kill on the island. So if you guys really want to hunt them earlier, instead of waiting until 50, here's a spot in, in general that you guys can kind of go to. Again, I'm not a big fan of being in this zone 
but if you want to get this at 40 I could see wanting to bang it out sooner than later uh, I, I would uh, probably err on the side of just say screw it get it tuned up to like 20s or 30s get a nice couple AOEs instead of doing it here uh, get a friend of yours that'll, that'll take you to the Ricky Islands there in Peregrine Island uh, and farm them super quick with a, a 50 boost you'll be 49 with you and him or her uh, your AOEs will be more than enough to take Ricky's out left and right you guys will get that thousand before too long anyway here is your last plaque sorry there all right so before we go on to show you where I would find Perez Park to find the finder badge the lost bosses that you're gonna want to hunt uh, I'm gonna read off to you guys uh, all the different locations for each of those plaques that we just talked about as well as badges okay let me get over here first I don't want to lose my placer be standing next to some mob not that I'm worried about getting hit it's just annoying to be attacked while I'm basically trying to talk to you guys uh, okay so exploration portal parter badge that's on PI Peregrine Island and showed where that's at the number is 3045 0 1287 the location for the ace badge which is in the echo of the Ricky war zone was uh, 1359 293 and negative 273 I think that was the one that was on top of his fist on that statue for the history plaque uh, or sorry for the history plaques that you're gonna find the savant badge you get from it one in Founders Falls is 4244 3 3689 the two in Craze Folly 7227 37 negative 554 the other one in Craze Folly 2566 4 2683 Eden two of them first one is negative 2817 negative 23 2962 and then the other one in Eden is negative 1313 12 4486 that's all the locations you guys would need for everything you need for exploration badges and history plaques okay two defeat alls a thousand Ricky monkeys and a hundred lost bosses so the lost bosses for me uh, the fastest for me was Perez Park. As a matter of fact, let's actually teleport to Atlas. We'll go to Wentworth. Uh, and go from Atlas to Perez Park. And in Perez Park, I'll show you a couple locations for the Lost Bosses and really what the Lost Bosses actually are. This is a common one, I'd say, for people just to stumble across and get this bad without even really trying. Uh, you're going to find enough Lost uh, as you level up in most cases anyway that you'll have a, a pretty good running start for this 100. You won't need to really hunt 100 of them. You'll probably have 50 or so already knocked out. Uh, we'll go to Perez Park. And again, I'm a big fan, for those of you that have been watching other videos, of me finding uh, locations to, to hunt them outside of missions, of course. Uh, and I find a nice circuit, is what I call it, like literally a path that you'll continue to circle around, uh, uh, scour the area for, you get a really good feel for where they'll pop up, and with, with of course, several paths, especially if you're running solo, it still doesn't take you terribly long, I'd say, to complete the 100. Uh, I say that I had probably in the low 40s uh, the other day when I did this, when I found my circuit, was happy with it. Uh, and from there literally it didn't take long to bang it out so here's where you are again on the map you're going to circle down here so this red zone here you're commonly found in this area mostly i'd say in the bottom section here uh, and then we're going to circle up to this spot and kind of run the uh, edge of the forest so to speak and cut over and again i'll show you where that's at but basically if you come down this way hug the wall you'll find hellions and other idiots like clockwork in the area but keep hugging the wall they're supposed to be in this area but I've never seen them over here I always see them once you get to the edge of the wall hang it right and then you'll start seeing them left and right uh, and the clockwork or sorry clockwork, the lost bosses are going to be the big ugly mutated bastards uh, that's going to be like this guy right here okay I don't go by the name I just go by the fact that it says boss Here's another one, so there's two right there. This is not a boss, that's a looty, okay? 
but I see a boss is some for some reason standing next to him listening to him talk. Uh, and then there's uh, uh, another one that I never see out, but you can find them in missions. They look like shorter versions of this guy with the weird tentacle arms and everything, and they're really tough, but those are bosses or elite bosses, and they count as well. So hunt this area, but you need to have them reset. You'll see some here sometimes, some down there, which again, there's one right there. And I never really see any past this corner. Uh, what I do from there is I hop, or fly, or whatever you do, uh, over to this area over yay. Okay. Uh, ignore all these Hydra. They're annoying as hell, especially if you're low level. Uh, but you can cut around the corner here, drop down by this tree zone here, and kind of follow the tree line. Uh, it's not to say that you're going to find a bunch on this first part. I'll show you when I really start to see them. Is normally there's a piece of water that we come across, like a bridge. It's probably this spot right here. But you're, you're supposed to be in this location. I never seem to see them. If I do, it's rare. Uh, I cut up over and when you see the water there you go here's the water this is where you're going to start to see him there you go he's not a boss but this was a spot for one here you find some up the a there's another one keep coming down here there's two right there some more down here nothing that's a boss but they could have been every once in a while you'll see them up here here you go uh, and again just hug those trees Hop around to scan the area for them. Hell, here's some right there. More right here. I'm being lucky now that I need them. I don't need them anymore. They're over all over the damn place. And then you just, once you get to that spot, uh, just uh, skip past all this junk and straight shot down again. It literally is going to take you all until you get down to here again for you to see them. So you've reset the clock, so to speak. So this will be the next spot that you're going to go to again, will be where you started the circuit to begin with. Again, here's nothing. They, they, they could be here, but I've never seen them here. Uh, so you're just going to skip past all this crap. Um, so I just hop right past it. Then when I get to about here, I sneak back into the tree so that I can keep an eye out for them. Like so. And as soon as you make that next right at Albuquerque, you'll find all kinds of them again. Okay, Clockwork are going to be back here as well, so don't feel bad about that. But there you go again, here he is again, and again you see with this circuit, you can get anywhere from I'd say 6 to 10 easily in a pass. So if you have to make that circuit 10 times, then I would be amazed for one, because that means you probably didn't have any, or didn't have any luck finding any. Um, but so what, I mean really, in, in 10 times, and that was a very quick part of this video, and then one pass did not take that long, 10 times that would still not take that long. You go through, you'll kill them quickly. They're low, low level here, so you can really bang this one out at an early level and get it knocked out of the way before the Ricky Monkey ones. And again, while I'm sure the, the Ricky Monkey thousand looks daunting, really, once you get to a high enough level where you can have someone carry you over to the, that Peregrine Island where the monkeys are at, you'd be surprised how fast in an afternoon you can bang out that thousand with a, a teammate. Just one other person on your team where you both have a couple good AOE moves is all you really need and a thousand will just rapidly just melt i'd say a half hour tops if you guys are really kind of working it as best you can rounding them up so then I, and he, i can round them up in this character i will use him uh his rifle to kill him is how i killed him this guy because he had more aoe's that way venom grenade frag grenade and uh heavy burst was enough for me to wipe out a thousand monkeys in no time flat so with that though that covers everything like i said and again that would be the finder badge for the lost the zookeeper badge for the ricky monkeys and with that my name is brother mutant please like subscribe comment down below tell me what you guys think i'll see you guys soon bye now